should know when he's out there. The dude. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Just like we talk about. Cries himself to sleep that night, but the next morning, what does he do? He practices. I mean, come on! How do you guys expect to beat me? But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. Did you did you think that was good? Tell me I'm good. Tell me it was good. Tell me I'm good. There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. You look like. Good job. That was all right. Good job. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? So, another week, another good Joe show. How are you guys doing? Um, this is the first good Joe show where I kind of I figured out the audio issues, um, kind of. I say kind of because I checked the last replay and it was still kind of poppy. How? I don't know, but I think it's literally that I'm not using Firefox. It's the only thing StreamYard likes. StreamYard and Firefox are, are in it. They're in cahoots, dude. These, these companies are in cahoots. You have to use Firefox if you want to use StreamYard, apparently. Um, something like that, at least. This is the first time we're also streaming on Twitter. For some reason, I have not been doing that. I saw Graham Nolan uh, doing that uh, today in the morning for his 31 days of Halloween. I was like, man, why am I not streaming on Twitter, dude? Um, this dude is like 50 something and I uh, and I can't even get it going on. I'm boomering it up. Uh, so, you know, about time I got, you know, all the platforms going. So Good Show Show is where I draw for two hours. I pretty much got this idea from Philip Tan, which is an amazing penciler for right now, Frank Miller doing Ronin 2. And he does a ton of other commissions and whatnot for like Marvel and your favorite superheroes. Anyway, he said on a show uh, at some point on a stream that you should probably try to knock out your best work in two hours and just bang your head against the wall with your artwork until you can find what's good about and, and accentuate what's really good about your art uh, uh, and be really aware of that and do it in two hours. So the best results I've gotten in the hist in, in the past, I probably should bring up. Maybe I should bring that up. I have, uh, I have a couple examples of what, what I would say is the goal for like my finished art uh, the, the goal is to get as close as I can to, um, this example here or these two examples. You've probably seen, it. I did it before I released my last book. I did a bunch of fan art and, uh, some, I really, really like, um, you know, we'll just bring up these two. These two will be probably good examples of what I want to do. Uh, let's just open this and then I'll open this. Okay. Present, please. I usually don't do this, but here we go. Yeehaw. So this is an example of finished art. Um, it's a Nightwing piece. And then I also have Deku here, also an example of finished art that I could be trying to hit. This is what I'm trying to hit. You know what I mean? Um, so today we're all about um, voting on a character to draw but only from an artist who broke from the mainstream and now is doing their creator own book that's what i'm trying to go for here um however i have seen no comments in chat what what is going somebody must be streaming right now at the same time it's the only explanation um or everybody watching on twitter and i can't see the comments i don't know how it works i've never streamed on twitter or if it even shows up that way um so Let's just uh, stop that screen. What I'm going to do is literally draw Groken if no one votes, because we did vote on Twitter previously. And so I always like to draw whoever's here and whoever shows up. I'll draw the character they do. But in this case, we already have kind of a vote. So I don't really care um, if 
if um, we end up drawing Groken. Obviously, because it's from Kenneth Roquefort, and he's awesome, and also because the character is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know. Sherry is here in the chat saying maybe everyone's watching her Twitter instead of maybe that is a good point. I but I guess you I guess you don't have a, a way to comment from there. I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe it's a bad solution. Maybe I won't get anybody in YouTube chat. Who knows? I at this point, I'm just glad <laughs> to be actually on the ball and uh and ready for tonight's stream. Uh so yeah, Groken's like Grogan's this mythological beast of a man, and uh, he's like, I think he's like magically made. He's like artificially, but magically made. Uh, he's got horns. He's got like doesn't have like a mouth. I don't. I think he's just got eyes and a horn. He's really white. He carries a badass sword. Um, so it'll probably be some sort of cool sword stance that is is what I'll do. Um, so. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pull up some ref for Groken. I was somewhat prepared for this, so I, I, I grabbed some things. Somewhat ready for this. Um, let's use... He's got one really, really... Uh, just like a classical kind of commission pose that he's drawn. Kind of has, and I'm going to use that as reference because it's it's got the basic pose, the basic character. Um, he's also got like a it looks like he's got like wearing a <laughs> Groken looks like he's wearing like an American flag as a, as a skirt or something it's pretty badass uh, even though that would be illegal or no something like that I don't no you can only burn you can't burn flags you can wear it as a skirt right in America someone else must be streaming the chat is empty I know very weird very very weird Blue face, blue wide eyes. Oh, I guess that's from some sort of emoji that's just not coming through through Streamyard. I should look over here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm reading the emoji descriptions now. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up my phone here because I've been using my phone as the uh, camera because it's cheap and easy. And uh, yeah. It's gonna be fun. Good old times. Good old times. All right, cool. I heard it in my ear. And we're gonna go this way. Let's put it on. Put it on the on the crane or whatever this uh I the uh, tripod. There we go. It's not a real it's got a crane arm too, but uh what we'll do here is present this video file for you guys sweet so we're about to draw this thing uh in this case hmm hmm i think one time i used this video spot and sometimes it works sometimes it covers up stuff but whatever i'm gonna put on some jamage some music and uh see about streaming streaming this art i'm gonna draw some groken dudes uh, hmm. Come on, music work for me, bro. Um, I feel like some good fantasy music would do it, but not really sure what to play. Uh, hmm. Until I think of something, I think I'm just gonna play my old playlist, my old mixtape playlist here. Uh, yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, doesn't like to start. My music doesn't like to start either. Excellent. StreamYard and anything doesn't work, I'm finding. Okay, so music should be on. We're going to play this thing. All right. We have the paper. We have we have the pencil somewhere. Right, pencil, paper, audio's good, hopefully. Um, let's get this this way just a tad. And we're gonna do Groke. I wonder if Kenneth Roquefort has any nicknames for Groken. Okay. 
lighting better. Please work for me here. There we go. Thank you. Maybe too bright. Okay, it's not bad for me. Cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if like he calls him. Does he call him Ken? Is did he come with the name from his own name? Like Groken's got Ken on the end, and uh, that just comes to mind. Okay, so Groken looks like. Bring the reference over to this page, please, over here. Awesome. Hmm. Cool. It really does look like he's wearing some sort of, like, mix of a flag and a... Uh, something. I haven't read Groken 2, but maybe he explains it in there. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. James, what's up, James? Dude, thank you for joining me, dude. I'm, I'm so lonely today. This freaking... Uh... <laughs> Something's going on. I, I stream to Twitter simultaneously and nobody knows I'm online. It's incredible. I wonder what's going on with it. Who knows? Maybe it's like ruined the whole algorithm for me. Okay. So I'm going to start with Broken. I feel like this is where we're coming to. Maybe I guys can show you this one. Broken. All right, let me show you a picture of Broken. There's a good shot of Broken. There we go. Spoilers. We're gonna be drawing broken. Check out this. That's kind of broken for its at its finest. Pretty cool. Um, that's a good shot to keep around. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, guys. Yeah. Um, Setting this up off the camera here for my phone. Not really working for me though. Probably gonna see the bookmark here. I'll grab it once I need it. Okay. So we've seen Groken. Incredible weird looking character, but really original, I'd say. What it reminds me of? Broken reminds me of the old school ninja, ninja, the foot clan from Ninja Turtles. The, uh, the cartoon ones where like it's just like a baggy sock over their head. <laughs> That's what it reminds me. Of. Okay, there you go. Um, hmm. Classic powering up with the sword out. That's the, not the first thing that came to mind, but it could be something we want to do. Um,
Yeah, James, I took suggestions on Twitter. I did a poll yesterday, um, and I ended up with Koken. That's how we ended up with this character. However, I do prioritize the chat. So if you have a suggestion right now of a character you'd like to see, you're the only one here. So maybe I'll draw what you want. Um, so yeah, if you have a character that you want to see, draw. It's got to be from comics though. This week's comic. Think of somebody that's um, preferably a creator-owned comic, not something from Marvel or DC. Or, you know. would be holding the sword, and that side would be kind of powering it up or something, I don't know. I don't think that's how it works in the story, I'm trying to come up with a cool pose, really. We probably won't go with this one, but... Yo, what's up? Doja Kun. I have a book launching in a week or two. Heck yeah, Doja Kun. Good to see you in the chat, though, dude. Thanks for uh, coming by. Reese is here. What's up, Reese? Uh, yeah, I know you got a comic book coming. Uh, what's the what's it called, Doja Kun? I'm I'm out of the element. Tell me, fill me in. Yeah, something like that would have been cool, but let's go with something more dynamic, I think. Janice Hardy's The Healing Wars. I definitely have heard the name and floating around. Definitely floating around the Twitter space. I've definitely heard it. Um, thanks for stopping by, though, dude. And James, yeah, you can't shield yours um, if you're pros. However, if you have a favorite comic artist that is a... Um, a previous pro that's kind of escaped the mainstream. That's the thing. That's the theme this week. That's what I'm doing. Um, I feel like, yeah, this is going to be good. I think. Hear a car alarm outside here. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Okay. 
rather come straight at me though. Here we're just thumbnailing out the idea and uh, trying to get this thing to be cool. Sword. Now I'm going to put some more music on. Okay, you're a manga guy. The only two graphic novels I own are ISOM and Trans uh, Metro Metropolitan. I think I, well, I own ISOM and I own, I think I own Trans Metropolitan. I think. I'm not sure actually though. I've got to think back. So I'm just here checking out what people are engaging with. Yeah, cool, man. Um, we're usually have a, have a different kind of experience. There's usually other people around here. Uh, somebody must be streaming or something. The thing about watching draw streams like yours is that I understand the concepts and shapes and depth and dynamic pose, but it doesn't translate from my brain to my hands. Yeah, it's um, it's yeah, one thing to know and, and understand, and the next thing to be able to execute. It's uh, it's tough. It's tough, and it it's frustratingly tough. Okay, so. Um, so I'm over here on this little small kind of thing here, and I'm deciding if I'm gonna make this a hand that's like guarding or what I'm gonna do here. Um, but yeah, I generally do these little tiny sketches and then I move on to like something half page. Uh, Cause I end up with a nine by 10 or an eight by 10, something like that. And um, from that, I give away this art at the end of the stream. So this is original art that I send to you for free. If you're out of, if you're out of the country, out of the U S then you have to front the, the shipping to international stuff. But this is all stuff that I would normally just domestically ship for you. And uh, you win the art. If you win the art, I ship it to you. That's how it works. So that's how it goes. But yeah, uh, I missed this. We were drawing a Groken. Seems like we're going to draw a Groken. Um, I can't pick Jake because he's not a pro. I'm do only doing I'm only doing pros that broke from the mainstream. This this time it's just those folks. I'm trying to have a different different thing each each week. This time we'll do that. Um, okay, so I got the page. This is the underdrawing. And the goal here is to just improve. The goal here for me is to improve drastically over the course of months because of the, um, essentially the effort, you know, like I'm focused on um, honing the, the same skills I've been using, but doing it in a speedy way. It's kind of like putting the skills to the, to the test during it with a certain time frame. Um, the only problem with the head being this huge is that it doesn't allow for a whole lot of the cool character design. So we're going to probably shrink him. 
though I, I really like doing big face kind of stuff on these, but it's not as challenging. So we got to pull back and try to do more full figure stuff. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Sherry said I have to subscribe to Twitter to chat from there. Yeah, I'm not a check mark over there. So that's how it goes. Juan Carlos uh, Boricua, Boricua. Maybe Sherry can help me out with that. Can you draw Hellboy? Um, not this week, but that is actually a good one, dude. That is actually a good one to go for. I will draw, I will probably put out the indie. Uh, the really established indie characters like Hellboy and have a whole week there to just like um, that stuff, you know, like Cyber Force and uh, Hellboy, um, some other big dark, um, uh, dark horse stuff, you know, maybe even TMNT in there. But yeah, soon. Did I just change the subject? Uh, no, it's still going to be broken. Still broken. Did not change the subject. I'm just changing the... Um, I don't know. The, changing like what I'm aiming for here. Because I'm, I'm trying to draw something interesting and fun. And at the same time... have it like look uh, like the character and be doable in two hours. So here it's really big on the page. So I'll have to pull back and show you guys. Um, but you'll see soon enough. Oh, I missed that. I, I, it's hard to watch the chat at the same time. But yeah, you said you're kidding. You said you were going to draw full figures and I was going to, I was being a 12 year old boy. Yeah, I got you, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, nice. But thanks for showing up, Juan. It's really cool to have uh, new faces around here. Uh, really appreciate like and subscribe to the channel. I've got tutorials. I got tons of other streams, interviews. Um, and yeah, we promote comics around here in general and art. And being artists is a big part of the channel. So if you are an artist, you'll fit right in around here. Um, you know, I don't, for some reason, I don't like uh, my face being here. Uh, I don't know why. It's just, maybe I'll put it down here because I am I really end up drawing over this direction a lot. So um, let's see. It's really dark down this way. So let's maybe do that. Think that's better? Nope, we want it on, buddy. There we go. Maybe we'll go up with it a little bit. There we go. Come on, stop turning off on me. Okay. Cool. It's still pretty close to the camera, but we'll we'll make it work. You'll find out what I'm about to be drawing here. I'm a huge fan of Kenneth Roquefort. I don't know if anybody out there has not heard of the, the genius that is Kenneth Roquefort. Fort. Um, I don't know why I would say Fert. Kenneth Roquefort. Um, he's probably one of the best artists not only in comics, but anywhere, uh, I would imagine. 
And yes, thanks. I do have my own comic. Uh, pinned to the top of the chat is the website. Um, we'll check it out together in probably about 20 minutes. I like to do it in half the halfway point. We'll check out my book. Um, but yeah, the soft spoken, very humble genius that is Roca Force. Yes, indeed. But yeah, we'll check out my book, uh, Juan. It's a cyberpunk racing book and inspired by F Zero and Akira. But it's a it's in a future where the book is about um, androids being pretty much better than mankind in the future, which seems like a no brainer, but it's going to be really cool to see uh, visualized, but mostly because I'm doing it about um, it's like all centered around motorcycle racing in the future. And so that's where the race element comes to, into play. Uh, pretty sweet. Okay. Let's see if this is his head here. All right, we have the arm coming forward. Hmm. Got to make sure this all works out, guys. All the connective tissue is, is there. We got to make sure. Hmm. Okay. So this is only, if you haven't been around here, I only, I'm doing this two hour challenge every week to get better at what I'm trying to do. My goal is to like do my best work in two hours instead of whatever it takes, eight hours, usually takes eight hours to do a good commission. If I can get that down to two, I think it'll improve everything. More time for the book, more time for just doing details. Anyway, this is all just to get better um, in general. Mm, okay. Kind of like everything but like the direction of the head, which is very key for something like this. The hand I can work with, this other stuff I can work with. But I want the head to be more coming right at us or looking sneaky. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get the uh, J-Bot art. What's up, dude? Hail, hail chat. Uh, is that pen blue or mechanical? Blue? It is a uh, mechanical blue. Yes, it is. It's lead. Blue lead. Good to have you on board. Uh, yeah, we're drawing, drawing Groken from the, the incredible Roca, uh, Rocafort, Kenneth Rocafort. He's, you know, if you're not aware how ridiculously amazing he is, you are in for a treat. Well, at least his character design. Because obviously I only can do a modest rendition of what he would normally do. Um, but yeah, at least he's got really cool designs, obviously. And I'm really stoked for trying to make my own impression of it. Um, I don't really know how his horns come out of his head. That's one thing. But I know it comes up like right near his eyes. So it will probably be right here he's got horns so whoever wanted hellboy at least you got horns at least you get the horns um uh, probably should come more toward us Hell yeah. Okay. Um, maybe a little big back there, but 
Okay, so now the hand is going to be back here. Back here is going to be the sword. Up front is just going to be a ready hand, probably. A little triangle up here, and then a little finger, thumb. And then over here, more knuckles. And my let's breaking. Cool. Oh, dude, and it actually read pretty good, too. I know you're saying Groken is great uh, to look at. I didn't read the book, just looked at the pretty picture. Dude, it's it's an incredible read. It reads a little bit um, like it's not a sec first language. There's like a little bit, just enough. It's almost like how you could tell if someone's like, you know, not a native speaker when they're actually talking. It's almost like that. It's a similar thing. Okay. So I'm going to kind of take out his jaw a little bit. I'm actually going to look in the book and see what his head shape looks like when it's looking down. I have the book right here, guys, by the way. Um, but yeah. We're going to look at this and get to the halfway point. And then I'm going to draw the or show you my book and then we'll draw the finish. But let's see what his head should look like when it's facing down. Looking, looking. Okay. Sword is really sweet. He's got a sweet sword. He's got horns. He's got a bunch of bunch of things going on. Okay. There's two or three shots where you can see his head is his head shape in that angle. Um I passed it. Now I gotta come back to it. Okay. There we go. Okay, it just blends. Just blends into his neck, guys. <laughs> just blends down here. So it'll be like little curvy lines. Just blends into his neck. Horns, hmm. Foreshorten the horns, dude. Um, he's got spikes on the sides as well. That, pretty cool design. This one would probably face up a little bit more. Okay. Mm. All right, character design wise. Middle of the bicep, he's got this kind of thing here. Let's put on some tunage real quick, because, man, it's a little bit quiet over here. It says, life has been truly not nice lately. We're getting, th getting through it, launching a new book soon. That should help with the doldrums. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, dude, I really appreciate you subscribing, dude. I really, really appreciate that. Um, the channel's growing actually really quickly. I'm, I'm thinking that's why... Uh, you've kind of gotten noticed the channel potentially, um, but the algorithm is liking what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep doing what it likes. Um, but I'm glad it's also what I like. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. So um, finally the algorithm and my, my thoughts align. That's what it's all about. Finally, I get me and the machine become one dude. <laughs> We're going to be uh the freaking singularity on this freaking stream right now. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that cover. Show me that cover. Because his head is kind of tilted down on that cover, dude. Show me it. Okay. Man. Okay. All right, so he's got like this kind of emblematic blade looking thing on his arm uh not really sure what it is a lot of these are just shapes that i'm sure he just turned into something cool
Okay. It's got like a shoulder armor here. Sweet. Uh, kind of bends down like that. I'm doing this all now because I don't want to think about where things go in the final. Not at all. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this thing has like these little. The only problem with this blue LED, it, it breaks. Like this thing breaks easier than. Um, trying to think of something that breaks easy, and that's funny. Uh. I don't know. Um, maybe I have that too close to that. I probably do actually. Bummer. This needs to be more like here. More like that. And then this thing comes down. All right. Cool. I wonder, dude, kind of seems like he would have like symbolism for like all these designs, but who knows? Maybe they're just cool stuff. I have no clue. Uh, can I share a link to your channel to my Facebook group called Comic Book Legends? Uh, you can't share the link, but you can tell me about it, and I'll I'll post it here, and or I'll post it uh, afterward because I got to keep drawing. Yeah, and I I share Jbot Jbot's uh, feelings there about that dojo. It really sucks. It's easier. It breaks easier than an SJW promise. That is correct. That's what I was looking for. That's why I need. Uh, friends like you, my life, for those sweet analogies. Okay. Sword. Um, let's work on the hand first. The hand. You've been using a fat mechanical pencil called Sumo Pencil. I'll have to look that up because this is pretty fat. I've been using it for a long time, but it's time for a change. You never know. Oh, yeah, you can share the link with the group for sure. Thanks for clarifying. Can I share my link? Yeah, dude, I, I'm pretty sure I'm dyslexic, dude. Um, totally share the link. Share the link, share my channel. I've got anybody in, in the group that really likes um, just comic art in general will like my channel. There's a ton of it. They will dig it. All right. So I got to go back to another image to get a better look at something else here. Sweet. I'm going to put on music again because, man, we need it. It's a little dry in here, you know what I mean? Put some synthy stuff for right now, just because I don't know what else to put on. Looks like he's got cables in his arms too. Wow.
cool guys this is gonna be fun it already is fun dude how did he come up with this design dude this is so off the wall Yeah, dude, this is incredibly off the wall design, but I dig it. Okay. I have no clue what's on his arms, dude. Make this a little bigger. And this one can be smaller. Because he's got another one over here. Insane. He's got like fur on the bottom too. Synthwave is good background music. Yeah, there's a guy on YT called White Bat Audio. Does a fair, fair use synth. Ooh, I will go for that for sure. Uh, totally off the wall art is good enough to put on the wall in a frame. Yes, yes. So Groken is coming along pretty well. At least I think so. Um, he's got some cool stuff on his arm, dude. Some weird cool stuff. Glad I have the arm front and center. I didn't plan this, but it's working. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fur. Fur. He's got fur down here, dude. Fur or like hair or something. Right now they look like knives. Okay. Why is this pen breaking lead so bad right now? I think it's just old lead. It's got to be. Okay. Um, he's also got beads. So let's try to get those going. I like beads because spheres look good and the same in every perspective. Yeah, I think so. Um, he's, I know he's created like a Frankenstein style thing, right? There's so much in imagery of that. Um, and when I read the story, that's kind of how they put it. Like he's like a beast, kind of Frankenstein uh, style. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. He's kind of got like these turbine-y things around his chest up here. You're like, you're not going to see him a lot, but you might get a little bit of it right here.
I wonder if, uh, I wonder really who's streaming. Tell you what, I won't stream on Twitter again until I get a blue check mark. But I want to pay for it. Might as well, it's a write off. Heck yeah. So far, so good. So far, this is maybe my favorite underdrawing I've done of the whole. I mean, I'm spending a long time on it, but I think it's worth it because the rest of it will go smoothly, swimmingly, even. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do. Oh, man. Running out of lead. Come on, bro. Here's one I bet. We're out of lead. That's going to slow me down. Not really. I got some right here. Yeah, I, a long time ago, I bought a ton of blue. And, uh, yeah. Let's put in some blue first, real quick. Oh, that's how you found out. I was streaming through. Then it worked, dude. Then it worked. Maybe I... <laughs> I mean, we have less people than we usually do in here, but then I'm actually more happy about you coming, dude. I'm just glad you came uh, and found out about it. That seems more impressive than a lot of numbers. New people, I think, is always better spreading the word about what you're doing. I think it's way better. Okay. Cool. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, too far. All right, Croak. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining, dude. Uh, if you haven't liked the video and you're lurking, please like the video. It'll help other people who might lurk as well find the channel. Okay, um, turbines. You don't need to show a lot of it. It's just gonna go like this. Still breaking. Big up there, one big at the top. We won't see that bit either. Okay. Yo, Reese, thanks for coming by. <laughs> yeah, you guys are chopped liver now, dude. Uh, I don't want that fresh meat. Peace, Reese. All right. Okay. Get these eyes in here.
Okay. I'm gonna get the sword in here. Sword's gotta be pretty simple because not time. These are good tunes, my dude. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think I like these. Sword probably is wolf. It might just have to go off the page. Um, but yeah, it's back this way. Okay. This dude's hands are crazy. He's got like crazy gauntlets. Check this out. All right, so they're like kind of gloves, kind of. Yeah, I draw digitally too. So this is a good segue. We're about halfway. So because we're halfway, let's do our segue about my book, which I draw digitally. Uh, so check this out, guys. Um, my book's called Star Circuit. If you haven't heard of Star Circuit, dude, um, you're in for a treat. Um, it's pretty much everything I've ever wanted to put and see on the shelf. It's really what I want to see on the shelf. And I pitched it to people, but... Dude, there's so much gatekeeping, especially these days. But anyway, besides that, check out the new website, um, starcircuitcomic.com. You can click the link at the top of the screen or on top, top of the chat. Um, hopefully it shows up wherever you're at. And I'll share my screen with you guys so you can see it here. So Star Circuit. 
um, straight up is in the future. It's a cyberpunk book. It's a cyberpunk sci-fi book. Uh, I write and draw it and basically it's my baby. Um, so the synopsis is in the far future, technology has progressed to a point where human, uh, human labor is irrelevant. So pretty much androids are now doing all the human labor culture has now revolving around high speed motorcycle racing, which is so intense that humans can't even compete. They've tried for 80 years and all the human attempts have edited, ended in tragedy. And so they don't even try anymore. Uh, but Atlas, our main character, is kind of obsessed about it. After his family is ripped apart by uh, pretty much the very tech that sustains society, the androids, the only thing that gets him through the day is kind of this delusion that one day he or somebody will do it and actually be able to race and beat the androids. So uh, when the long lost racing legend, his childhood hero, cybernetically links with his mind together, they might actually figure out how to do the impossible and race the star circuit. That is the, that is the, that is the pitch for it. If you click in here, um, you can click through to more about the story, more about the, the theme about the whole story. And I got a character page. These are all the main characters. Atlas, I've just talked about. He's kind of like a rich kid um, like that is obsessed with racing, but he's also kind of running from everything. He's kind of like a party, uh, party boy. Anyway, there's a bunch of other characters, villains, heroes, ex-girlfriends. They're all there. Uh, you can read a preview of the book, the first 10 pages. This is out. Or if you want to just believe in me, <laughs> you can believe in me and you can just buy the book. You can buy the variant cover. It's a limited edition. Um, and sign up for notifications for Chapter 2, which is in the works. It's a 72-page book coming soon. Um, yeah, sign up. There is a sign up page on the home screen. You can go here. Sign up right now. It's pretty awesome. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, Star Circuit uh, also has an art gallery and other. It's got original art for sale and uh, a whole shop full of stuff. So you can support the book, support me, and support the channel by shopping here. It's on the top of the chat. It will be in the description. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we're going to get back to the drawing. Um, as a side note, the first chapter I drew of Star Circuit was not digital i drew that all traditional and that's why there's original pages to be sold but uh to get the book out quicker for chapter two i am working diligently but traditional or or digital rather this time around so let's get back to the drawing of groken i am stoked to uh finish this drawing up. okay Hmm. Really trying to figure out what makes this guy tick. Okay, he's got two spiky things on his hand here, more spikes. I really think with all the spikes that he's trying to insinuate the the Frankenstein monster thing idea. I think that's what he's going for here. Okay. He's got creepy nails. So that's one thing. Creepy nails. I draw, as you can tell, in like a little bit of like a Japanimation udon style of of drawing uh which is like kind of got some manga influences um mostly not even manga but anime influences because that's kind of part of my whole my life so all the influences are here Ah, break it. Uh, 
Oh, thanks. Um, the new book won't be colored by me, but I am heavily, heavily um, monitoring it to make sure it keeps to the same qual. But I appreciate it. Appreciate the, the fandom. Uh, again, read the read the free pages. Read the read the preview. It's a good little preview. Oh man, I really don't want to draw the other side, but I got to. It's actually going to be way easier than the foreground. It always is. In fact, you should actually, here's a, here's a tip, you probably should get lazy with the background stuff because it will naturally fade out for the, for the viewer. Don't get super lazy, but definitely you can simplify shapes, you can break your lead, you know. Yes, <laughs> I call it Japanimation as well. However, that's uh, just an easier term, I think, but no worries. What else am I missing here? It doesn't really matter at this point. It's so detailed already for normally what I do. I think this is going to work out just fine. What's up? Outhouse, porcelain throne, blue, crapper, bog bowl, chitter. <laughs> oh. It's great. I love all the, the mixture of things there. I don't know why you're saying them. Maybe I missed the joke. Could be just a fool. Okay. Put this on page for reals. But we don't got a lot of time, guys.
Thanks for joining in, Hockey. Good to see you, dude. dude. The last time me and Hockey drew on a stream, he beat me in an art challenge. It was embarrassing. No, it was um, it wasn't embarrassing. Hockey, um, I think from the first time we did a challenge to the to the next, you you erupted with with extra skills. Now here's the fun thing you can do. If you got a light box, here's the fun thing you can do here. Let's find the optimum, the optimal place. Do we want it tilted or not? This is really straight on. We could tilt it just a little bit. Just deciding if it looks best straight on like this. Title of my show. <laughs> Is the music freaking out? It could be, and it's freaking out. I don't know. I skipped the song. Maybe it's freaking out for you guys. work.
What's this? Uh, what's this art department? What's that? Someone explain. On J Bot's channel, Joe, we draw stuff. You should come on. I will. Did not hear of such a thing. J Bot, I can wait until you're ready. Fine, doing your own character can help with understanding the rules. I find doing your own character can help with understanding the rules. I could. Oh, you're talking about uh, going on there. Okay, cool. Okay. Now that I understand. Sweet. All right, seems like I got 40 minutes or so, so probably should pick up the pace, but I'm trying to focus not on the speed and just on getting the right lines right now.
Racer, what did I put you, dude? Oh, I felt it. Moving the glove. Uh player things. Um, gonna have to change them up a little bit though. Pretty much looked up the Roquefort for a long time. Um, I remember having a specific conversation with uh, Rob Hunter, who um, it's in his book called like Death Raider or something. I think he's got a creator own book as well. Anyway, that book look, looks pretty sweet. But anyway, I talked to Rob a long time ago. And he asked me, well, what are you aiming for? Because obviously my art probably didn't look that that great. And I was like asking for advice. And he told me two things. Um, and the first was, do I really want to make my own book? Or do I would I rather like to... Would I prefer just inking or like drawing over somebody else? And yeah, I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm definitely not the guy to want to draw somebody else's stuff or not even get to draw the the idea stuff. You know what I mean? Not to get to have the base. And I feel like it's a lot of responsibility, but something that I've always wanted. I prefer that over probably anything else. Keep on, keep it on. Groken, people. Groken. Go freaking check out Groken. Just Google search. It looks amazing. Thank you. 
<laughs> no, dude, <laughs> don't say such things. You are, it's a weird night. It's literally, the chat wasn't here to begin with, um, or at least the normal chat. I feel like whoever's here, I really appreciate the people that are working and just want to give me a view or put me on in the background or whatever. Whatever you got me on, keep me on, dude. It helps. It all helps. So anyway, um, yeah, you didn't scare him away, dude. Luke, what's up, dude? Uh, that's some nice drawings there, partner. Yeah, I appreciate it. Doing a little bit of a uh, groking today. We won the vote. They won. Fucking won. I can't believe they beat out the other folks in the, uh, in the listing. But really, I, I only do that for fun. Whoever comes and shows up for the chat when we first start the show are the people that I listen to about what to draw. But everybody that was here didn't even want something specific. Like they wanted, they wanted like uh, people that weren't qualified, like drawing Hellboy, which doesn't count. We need a, even though it is creator owned, um, I wanted it to be new, Iron Age, if you will. I don't know if I like that left spike, bro. And Zade's here. What up, dude? Firework. I like it. Fire me. I got this arm back here that I still have to figure out. That's why I'm leaving it to the end. It looks like a good arm, but I have to make it mesh with the, how, how it's going here. And so to do that, thinking about it thinking about what i need to do hmm. what i'm thinking about doing is giving the shoulder bulk spent a lot of extra time on the um under drawing this time I mean, it's paid off, but time is not on my side this time. Hmm. Yeah, the exhaust. Mm-hmm. Embrace the left spike. All right, dude. I'll keep the left spike, <laughs> but I will clean it up to compromise. Okay. Sweet. 
All right. Um, I guess I could do that, dude. Let's hide some of it. You don't even see a, a good amount of it back there. Why weren't you here before, Jeremy? So I could have better ways to hide things. <laughs> I don't like those. Uh, I don't like those smokes, but something like that is gonna work. Something like that's gonna work. That's my brush, dude. Got a hint at it on this side, too. Maybe that's too fake. I need something a little more upbeat. We're going to move to the Shinobi soundtrack because it's the only thing I can think of. I don't have time to like really search for anything. Um, and yeah, it needs to be more upbeat. Yeah, it's like it is like a smoke wing. You're right, um, but I'm just making it whatever it is right now. No time to really craft it. Um, but I'll save it for the end. I got time. I got time. Mm. 
Okay. I didn't realize it's got his hands have like machine joints.
Uh, or you can just do Jeremy's idea and make this a little bit more jet stream. Thanks, though, dude. I appreciate it. Um, I just don't have time to, like, check with you, check back and forth. I kind of have to just go with the instincts and hope that I'm um, doing it right. Okay. It is really jittery right now. Okay. Try to get some of this uh, dice back down here, whatever this is. I need to figure out is down here.
store. This boss battle music is like perfect for pace and media. All I can do at this point is do line weights. I don't have enough time to do heavy shadows or anything.
Thanks, babe. <laughs> if you're watching, why are you just lurking and not saying how good jobby this freaking uh, drawing is? Tell me good job if you feel it. Don't be shy. <laughs> Call it out when you know.
Only thing I want is kind of this shoulder to be beefy, or in like a uh, better way. <laughs> Grape Joe job. <laughs> Grape Joe. Yeah, I think this is uh, the best one of the, of the stream so far, which is good news since it's the most recent. But, um,. That's kind of been the goal the whole time is to improve. Get a little better at everything as we go. Time is it? Oh, I'm, I'm past time. <laughs> is that what the cue is? Yeah, I'm slightly past time. Okay. Let's um, turn off the light and see if there's just any random little things. Let's raffle this bad boy. I do you have an art auction this weekend. Maybe I can auction it there. Um, not that I know Jeremy. Not that Jeremy needs another piece of mine, but if you wanted Jeremy, because Jer Scott uh, Sherry won last week, so um, she can't win twice in a row. So unless you want to put in for it, Jerm. Um, but I'm not going to do a raffle with just one person, and especially if it's a double winner like Sherry. Can't have her win twice. What I don't have is the thumb and finger back here. And I didn't put in the sword. We have to put in the sword real quick. Which is easy because it's straight. It'll be a simple. Now we're gonna your pencil in the shop more. Pencil in the shop more. Okay. Let's just do this. Okay, grow. 
It looks pretty sweet. Um, the light isn't helping like that. There we go. Let's see it a little better. I dig it. I think it's got potential. Um, who's here? If we got anybody besides just one person or Sherry. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we want the giveaway, right? Giveaway my stream. Okay, just type Groken in the chat. Actually, we have to make it something a little bit different. Not Groken. Let's do... Uh... Let's just put in Ken. Just Ken. K-E-N lowercase. K E N. Just type in Ken. Groken. Pizza Medi's here. <laughs> Some people want it. Somebody wants this bad boy. Um, yeah. So it's definitely looking good. All right. So um, fun challenge. Fun times. I'm going to share the screen. That way everybody can be in the fun of the giveaway here. Let me turn off the music real quick, too. It's bothering me, dude. Okay. Here we go. Ken. 30 more seconds. You want to be giving me 30 more seconds, Sherry? Sherry's the ringleader here. All right, everybody. You have to wait 30 more seconds. We got five entries. Um... I'm looking forward to seeing who this goes to. Uh, dude, I, I blast drawing this one. Uh, dude, Kenneth Roquefort's like just designs are so out there that like it's, I think I was the most on my toes. You know what I mean? I was the most, absolutely Pete. <laughs> Grokeneth, <laughs> Grokefort, bro. Uh, that's what I, <laughs> uh, yeah, just, I feel like once you're at Ken's skill level, you just have to draw something wacky, you know? All right, Sherry says, let's do it. She's, she's the leader here. All right, everybody, cross your fingers. Oh, my! <laughs> we have to do it again because Sherry can't win twice in a row. We're drawing again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it goes the germ. Awesome, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Very close. I really thought it was going to be Pete. It stayed really a long time. It stayed really a long time on his name. Wrote it wrong too? Hmm. All right. Well, either way, Zade Studios, Jeremy, you get another piece of mine, dude. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You have to take it. <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm forcing you to take my art. Um, you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I had a blast doing this, guys. Uh, so before we roll out of here, go uh, check out Groken. Groken is an incredible book, probably one of the coolest books out there. Um, it really is one of the most original that I've seen. So go check it out. Um, and yeah, go like some comics, go spread the word about your favorite book. That's kind of what we need is more people spreading the word just about random books about, uh, the ones you like. So with that being said, I also have a book star circuit. 
you guys have seen. We went through it already, but you can back. I'm going to play the trailer on the way out for the chapter two uh, book coming. Uh, but yeah, Star Circuit, where androids are now the pinnacle of racing and uh, humans kind of don't stand a chance anymore at this whole competition thing. So definitely um, watch the trailer. Sign up on StarCircuitComic.com. It's in the description. I'll see you next time. Next week, we're going to be doing something probably way different because I like to change it up. Um, yeah, this was a blast. Next time we are going to do... Um, something similar, but a totally different category. That's it, everybody. Peace out. Have a good one.